What is going on everyone? My name is Benjamin Nock with the Smallmouth Experience and if you guys love chasing big smallmouth bass, hit subscribe down below. This is a 100% smallmouth focused channel to help you guys target more and bigger smallmouth bass. And now this video here is focused on dressing for cold weather bass fishing. Because let's face it, as much as it stinks to go out in the really cold weather, it's the best time of year to catch giant and big pods and numbers of fish, right? Because these fish are grouped up, whether it's spring or whether it's winter, these fish are grouped up into really small pods and these fish are feeding up really heavily, basically getting as fat as possible so you can catch giants. But what I wanna go over is the gear that I'm wearing, why I choose the apparel that I choose and how to dress to stay warm and comfortable in cold weather conditions because no one wants to go out and look like the Michelin man and be super uncomfortable on the boat trying to catch big fish. So the first thing we have to understand is how to dress during cold weather times of year. And the first most important piece of information I have for you guys is to layer up. Layering is extremely important because the more layers you have within reason, you're going to trap more layers of air closer to your body. Now that air is going to basically be like insulation in your clothing. It's gonna keep warmth closer to your body. Now, conversely, you need clothing that makes sense for the weather you're fishing in. You don't wanna wear um, these really nice layers and have all this air trapped in there, but not be protecting yourself from the elements. You want something wind resistant, water resistant or weather resistant to basically keep the cold out and keep the warmth in. So by layering, keeping uh, pockets of air closer to your body is gonna keep you warmer as long as that air stays warm. So the first piece of apparel that I want to recommend for you guys and what I always start with is some sort of base layer for pants and top. Now these are just Meyer brand um, and if you guys don't have Meyer, you can go to Walmart. These are just like your generic brand long johns. Now these are a little bit more high performance than maybe your traditional long johns. And what I like about these is they're actually a little bit wind resistant. They're made for cold weather. So they're fleece lined on the inside, but then the outside is slick coated. Um, it's gonna be more wind resistant and it's gonna help your body trap that heat to you. So I'm gonna start out by putting these on as my base layer bottoms. So now that I have my base layer bottoms on, you want a base layer top. Basically like your bottoms, you want some sort of long john or cold weather gear on the top of your body. And this is an Under Armour cold weather gear shirt that I've had for years. It's turtleneck style, but what I like, it's breathable, it holds the heat in, but it keeps the cold out. So this is my cold weather top. It's, it's an Under Armour branded cold weather long sleeve top. And this is what I wear as my base layer on top. So now that we have our base layers on our top and bottom, you need to move to protect your feet. You wanna keep your feet warm because if your extremities, your feet, your hands, your head stay warm, it's gonna keep your body warmer throughout the day. As soon as your feet get cold or your hands get cold or your head gets cold, that's where you're gonna lose a lot of heat and that's when you're really gonna start feeling uncomfortable. So now I'm gonna put on socks. Now, I don't go super crazy with my socks because most of that I handle in my boots that I wear. So these are just traditional mid-calf socks um, and then these are gonna go on up over top of my base layer bottoms. Now I'm pretty much covered with my base layer. I have my long socks, which are important when I put my boots on. I have my base layer bottoms, base layer top. Now we're gonna start putting on a little bit more clothes. And underneath, I'm wearing just a standard pair of sweatpants. Now these are pretty heavy duty sweats. You want something that's going to be a little bit baggy, but not super uncomfortable once you put on your, your bibs and your pants. So. We're gonna drop these on, and then we're gonna put on some sort of sweatshirt, which I'll get in here in just a minute. Now that we've got our sweats on, we're gonna put on one more layer before we put the hoodie on, and that is a Hexatron shirt. Now what a Hexatron shirt is, is made by AFCO, and it's basically a warm weather piece of gear, but it has these little hexagonal shapes in here that are going to kind of keep the outer fabric away from your body, but trap air in all of these little pockets. Just like what I talked about, you wanna trap as much air against your body as possible. And these little hexagons are gonna to try to do a better job of holding that heat against your body. Now they also make this in a hooded version, but if you're gonna wear a Reaper hoodie, I'll explain why here in a minute, you don't wanna wear the hooded version with that. But if you're just wearing a standard hoodie, I would recommend going with the Hexatron hooded shirt because it's gonna be something that you can put over your ears keep your ears warm throughout the day as well. So we've got the Hexatron on, the Under Armour base layer, sweatpants, base layer, long socks. Now we're gonna put some sort of hoodie on. And this is where I used to really go crazy with it. I would put like two hoodies on, a really heavy coat. But what I've noticed is that you don't actually need to do that. A lot of your heat is gonna come from your core. You're gonna be moving a lot of the upper body. And when you start taking away that mobility, you're actually gonna get colder than if you just wear a little bit lighter 
top half um, with more mobility because you're going to constantly be moving from the core. So if you keep your core kind of, I guess not exposed, but a little bit less covered up, you're going to have more mobility. The heat's going to stay trapped in your base layers. You're going to stay relatively warm. So the hoodie that I wear is the AFCO Reaper hoodie. Now the reason I like this hoodie is basically because of the fleece lining. As opposed to a lot of hoodies out there, that fleece lining is going to trap a lot of heat against your body. It's going to allow, um, it's going to keep the wind from getting through the shirt. It's going to hold that heat inside against your body. And this Reaper hoodie is a great choice for that. It also has a built-in kind of neck or scarf face protector. And I like this too because then I don't have to wear a scarf over top of all this. So I'm going to toss this on, then we're going to move into some more of the outerwear gear. So with the Reaper hoodie, I'm now basically covered from neck to my ears, down through my core, and I'm really starting to actually feel kind of warm, right? Like my core is warm, my legs are warm, my, my feet are gonna be warm here in a second once I put these boots on, but I still have a ton of mobility. None of these clothes are too restrictive. I'm not wearing too many things to make me look like I can't put my arms down. I can move a lot, I have a lot of mobility, and that's gonna be really important when you're out there fishing, when you wanna be able to basically make long casts and be efficient and effective on the water. Now we're gonna move into some of the outer gear that I would recommend, and we're gonna start with the bibs that I wear. Now this is a really crucial piece of equipment. Um, now you can wear your standard style bibs, your standard style rain bibs, but I like to go with a pair of ice bibs. And that's basically any time that the air temp drops below 50 degrees, I'm gonna wear these ice bibs. They keep me super warm, they keep the wind off of me, and they just allow me to feel super warm when I'm out there on the water, regardless of what the air temps are. So my bibs are by far the most heavy duty piece of equipment that I wear. And these are actually ice fishing bibs, as I mentioned, but they're gonna keep you super warm when you're out there on the water. They're gonna come up mid chest, have really heavy duty straps, um, and they're just gonna keep you really warm. And these are something you can wear when you're ice fishing as well. So they're multi-purpose, especially if you guys live around areas of the country where you can ice fish, you basically get a two for one. You can wear them from October, through March, through April, maybe even into May, depending on the spring we get. But they go on super easy, zip up, super, super comfortable, and then you tighten the straps up so they fit a little bit better. But super heavy duty, they're gonna keep you warm, fleece line pockets, wind resistant, water resistant, and just an awesome investment for those of you guys that fish up north or like to fish in really cold weather months like I do. Now we're gonna get into the boots because my feet are starting to get cold. I wanna put on really good boots, but before that, if you don't have thin silhouette boots, my recommendation is to get insulated socks. Now, I'm not sure if Stormer still makes these, but Stormer used to make these insulated socks, neoprene socks, that are gonna keep your feet dry and warm in cold weather. I believe these are five millimeter socks, and they just go on over your standard socks. You can wear them under thinner boots or in shoes, which is what I used to do. But now I upgraded to a hunting boot style that's waterproof, weather resistant, which is important when I'm fishing the Great Lakes and I need to keep my feet dry because I don't want to compromise when it comes to my feet. So these are the boots that I wear. These are Itasca 1200 gram Thinsulate boots. They're waterproof. They're really, really mobile. Like I have a lot of mobility. I don't want something that is super big and super bulky because I have to run the trolling motor. I have to be able to move around the boat rel relatively quickly. So these Itasca boots are a great investment. Um, whether you're a hunter, whether you're a fisherman, these will keep your feet dry and warm in any conditions. Like I can't tell you how many times I've taken water over the front of the boat, wearing these boots, keep my feet dry. And uh, they're just really nice when you're out there in those nasty weather conditions. The reason I wear long socks is when I put these boots on, I like to take the top of that long sock and fold it over the top, top of the boot. That's gonna prevent that sock from slipping down. It's gonna make them more comfortable. You're not gonna have them pulling your leg hairs. Um, so if you take that long sock, you fold it over the top of the boot once you get it on. It's gonna keep your sock situated well on your foot so you won't slide around in the boots near as much. Now we're gonna talk about headgear, we're gonna talk about jackets, and we're gonna talk about gloves um, because those are really the most important things. Again, remember what I said, feet, hands, head, keep that stuff warm, you won't get cold when you're out there on the water. Before we talk about the jacket, I wanna talk about my hat and my gloves that I use. Um, the hat is a really basic knitted cotton cap. This is a Carhartt cap, and I'll just basically put it on over top of my hat if it's a sunny day, or without my hat if it's not a sunny day. Um, and then I can just pull my Reaper hoodie up like this and cover my face. Okay, so there's no wind getting in uh, through my hoodie. There's no wind hitting my ears. 
my head is pretty much covered. And then you're going to see with my jacket, I can cover myself up basically to my glasses line. And that's really going to keep most of the wind off of my face. And the gloves that I like to wear are something that I have a lot of mobility. And again, mobility, mobility, mobility. You don't want to feel like you're casting with a big old mitten on your hand. These are something I can fish in, I can drive the boat in, and they're super easy to get on and off. They're also water resistant, but they're from Walmart. I believe they're $20. Um, and they're also thin slit. Uh, there's also thin slit in these gloves. So they're gonna keep your hands warm, whether you're fishing a bait cast or a spinning rod. These are the gloves that I like to use. They're gonna keep your hands warm, they're gonna keep your hands dry. Now, if you dunk your hand under water, they're gonna get wet, but for the most part, you're gonna stay really warm and dry in these $20 gloves. The best $20 investment I ever made for fishing. Um, I get a new pair every single year. They're just a really good investment to keep your hands warm and dry in really cold fishing conditions. Now let's talk about the outer wear that I'm wearing, the outer top that I'm wearing. And this is where I get really non-specific. You'll understand why once I show you guys. So the jacket that I wear is an onyx raincoat. It's actually a light weather raincoat. Again, we're gonna talk about mobility. You're gonna get sick of hearing me say that, but all I'm looking for is something to break the wind. Now, all of this apparel here is really nice. It's wind resistant, but this jacket is windproof. Wind is not gonna get through this jacket. So by wearing this jacket, I can put it on, zip it all the way up, cover my face, cover my head, and now I'm ready to go. No wind is getting through this jacket. I have all of my warm weather gear underneath. My core is protected. No wind is getting through this uh, Onyx jacket. And I'm gonna stay really warm. It's also really kind of lightweight, but it's gonna keep that wind off of my body, which is critical when you're fishing in cold weather months. Keep the wind off you, keep the heat in. It's gonna be perfect when you're out there on the water. And the last two accessories that I always have when I'm out there fishing in cold weather, the first, is a safe face. This goes over your mat, your face when you're running. It's a mask to keep the water off your face, the wind off your face, so your face stays warm and dry when you're running through cold weather into the wind, into the snow. And the final thing that I always have on my boat is Onyx Insight 824 Life Jacket. Always wear this. Winter, summer, fall, always have this thing on my body. It's more critical, most critical during these cold weather months. But this is how I gear up when I go out to fish in the cold. They say warm, to stay um, comfortable and to stay mobile when I'm out there fishing so I can go out and just worry about catching big freaking smallmouth bass. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please go down and give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys for watching. Take care, tight lines. God bless. We're super passionate.